So, okay, Nigel. So, we're lucky to be joined by Nigel Shorts here, who I will go over his game, I expect, um, which looked like a, a very nice positional crush, I think it's fair to say. Um, and just looked like you were controlled most of the game there, really. Um, we liked your bishop c1. That was a, yeah. that was a nice move, bishop yeah. c1, b3. But did you have most of that prepared as well or in the morning? or Let's go back to the start and you can uh, talk us through the game anyway. So what were your okay okay what was your feelings on the game anyway? Um, well we'll see. So okay, um, yeah okay. So, so let's go uh, for the opening. D four, yeah. Like to a six. So you're a D four player now, Nigel. I play, I play D four quite a lot. I mean, I play more D four. Yeah. Be dexterous. Yeah. 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 Bisexual or something. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nigel. Thanks for that comment. <laughs> okay. So just watch uh, those legs oh under the God. table. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so so uh, e six was played. Yeah. Knight to f three. Uh, yeah. Okay. So d five. Knight c three. So deviating from g three, which is played in round one. Yeah. Okay. Um, this should be four. Uh, okay. So this is the Ragozin. It's becoming um, quite popular nowadays. It's yeah, it's very, before, it's so. very popular. Okay, yeah. so I, I talk here. Takes um, bishop g5. g5. Am I right in thinking you had this as black and you against Kasparov and you tried h6 and g5 in some position? No. Or? No? That's, okay, no. that was you're, a, you're completely long. off the yeah. mark. Am I yeah, say. that's for right. Nimzo Indian with queen c2, but you're... Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, yeah. so... So, so um, it's, it's different. So knight d7. Yeah. Um... And uh, yeah, okay. So this is uh, regular reg Ragozin. So there are lots of possibilities. Uh, here. I, it's the first time I played this with white, actually. Okay. But um, so there are a lot of firsts for me uh, here. But uh, you may have noticed I played the Ragozin against Anand uh, last year, and uh, in. The chorus tournament. So um, I'd actually been doing quite a lot of work on this opening. Uh, I only pretend to be an amateur. Uh, so I had some ideas. Queen b3 is actually what Capablanca used to play. I've never seen Queen b3 myself. I no, mean, I, I played this Capa position Blanca. with e3, but you've got to know your classics, Nigel. Yeah, I guess. You've got to know your, of that. Well, yeah, I mean, okay, okay uh, Queen b3 uh, is. Uh, at this moment is is quite important um, I mean because it sort of reduces um, blacks options so we kind of reach this uh, uh, sort of regular position here takes um, c4 yeah and now I think uh, Kappa was playing b3 okay so here, this is where but that's where might have played b3 yeah yeah but okay um, Queen e3 check has been played uh, before uh, it doesn't win um, at all, um, I mean, actually, Black can play King F8. I mean, that's that's a move. Mm -hmm. um, a bit more dynamic, I guess. Uh, yeah. King to F8. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I would say yeah. Queen E7 is um, still okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, Queen E7 is yeah. is, is you know a more normal yeah. move, sure. and it's perfectly perfectly all right. So I take King takes A4. So A4 was um, yeah, it's been played. Move, it's it? been played before. Okay. So, um, and now there's a question of um, plan, and um, well, it's it's interesting. A H6 has, has also been seen. Bishop C1. She didn't seem to be very familiar with this stuff. Uh, well, she was. I mean, it's quite rare actually. It's quite rare. A th A4 is a good move positionally mm -hmm. because I'm stopping B5. Yeah. And actually, my idea is just to to uh, you know restrain on the on the queen side. So, H6. Um, okay. I, I, think, I, think, I think Stuart Conquest also suggested that um, maybe Rook to E8 was possible. Yeah, yeah Rook E8. Uh, Rook E8 is a is, going Rook E8 yeah, no, so. is, is another move. Uh, it's um, yeah. I've analysed it. Um, right, so okay. so yeah. You're not going to get too many hints. On 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 how to play this position <laughs> with black. You're, you're yeah, rookie okay. eight. <laughs> so rookie eight. Yeah, and yeah. By the way, so, so well, I'm, 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 I, I don't I don't do DVDs <laughs> on openings. So okay. <laughs> not yet. 
No, I, I'll be doing DVDs on openings when I've retired. So, uh, okay, you couple, know, couple of years you've, left. You've got a few uh, de- decades, decades, decades. Yeah. decades, yeah. decades. To, you're going to do a coach on one of us, are you? Yeah, I yeah. am. Okay, good. So, man. okay, H6, Bishop, C1. And, I mean, this, uh, this was a very good move, Bishop to C1. Yeah, A5. And is actually, it, is A5 right? Uh, it's well, it's it's um, A5 is is kind of thematic, um, and B3 is actually a novelty. Really? Um, okay. That was my new idea. Someone uh, suggested Knight to G1 here. You were certain to play B. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was played that this position. Uh, actually, uh, Stelios Halkias, uh, my Greek neighbour, uh, has played this line, but he didn't play. B3 here. I've, I've forgotten what he did actually. But um, I mean, B3 seems to be crying out to be played. So, uh, I mean, if you're going to play Bishop C1, what the bloody hell is the point? <laughs> well, B, <laughs> you know, B3 seems like yeah, a very strong move. Yeah. And so. um, okay, B3 okay. takes Knight D2. And um, well, I think White is better here. Um, I mean, it's not winning. I mean, Knight B6 is kind of a more normal move. B5 um, is not possible here, is it, Nigel? I mean, okay, just a It's quick not. Force. A takes B5. Okay. Oh, you can take a B3. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's your oh, tanks, that's tactics yeah, okay. for you. Middle tactic, then knight takes B3. Yeah. Okay, yeah. simple enough. It was okay. a good good question. Well, to be asked. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be asked because yeah. it's a damn good move. If, yeah. it, if, it, if, you it, know, if it works. If it works, <laughs> doesn't work, doesn't and, it's, work, a, and so it's, it's a lousy it's move. So that's Fair enough. So Okay. No, but so so this is this is interesting. Uh, I must say um, I didn't really uh, concentrate very much on on b6 uh, in my preparations, uh, basically because um, I thought White was doing very well here. So, but, but can you answer? I can't, can't understand the point of a5. It's to stop. Uh, it's to target a4. That's one of the things you're doing. Knight b6, bishop d7 is a very typical idea in the Ragozin. I see. Okay. Yeah. And also, you know, white often has a5. They're just kind of putting some sort of grip on the position if you're not too careful. And that, and I've got two bishops, so... Uh, oh, so yeah, oh, fantastic. Okay. Please, please. All right, come. yeah. Do you, want, do you want, okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, get another Okay, and right. Some, uh, lubrication, lubrication, please. That's uh, okay. We're, we're, we're very, um, <laughs> very honoured to be joined by uh, both parties in this game. Yeah. So, hello there, and yeah, uh, Tatiana yeah, and Nigel. Yeah. We're going to both talk about their yeah. game. So, yeah. thank you for joining us. Anyway, yeah. so, um, so, it like a bit so of a, B3 was a novelty. Did you know that? B six, B three, I think. I think ah, it's B3, a normal. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, but um, okay, it's the most normal move, I think. I, I think it's a novelty. Maybe but, I shouldn't uh, play H six. Oh no, I missed the start. Can you? Um, you played D four again for the second time. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it's probably not the most precise. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. Um, so because so. yeah, rook e8 maybe is a better move. Okay. You know, I mean maybe. Um, it's it's. But you flip to rook e8. Rook e8 is of the course, boss, of it? course. There but there are other there are other moves as well. You know, I mean, but h6. Um, h6 is maybe it's it's driving the bishop not exactly to where it wants to go but um i have this this idea and it, it was quite interesting actually this uh this stuff so let's let's go back uh, go go on yep. um a5 uh here okay so takes and uh b6 yeah as i said uh, i Maybe didn't instead b6 i can play Knight b6 is the is kind of Knight main is Knight the main Knight b6 Knight is b6. the main main move. Yeah, uh, pre, yeah. But I believe White is White is better here. I take on b3. B3. Bishop just. Um, yeah. That's a five. Yeah. Bishop six. Yeah. Now some rook b1. Knight of just seven. And what was my idea? Bishop a3, yeah. King g8, maybe. Yeah. And if I take on d7, and e3. The point is, white is better yeah. all, always here. Strategically, white is it's not winning, doesn't win, but it, white is uh, just got a, a better position. Still got to play this position. Yeah. For black. Yeah. 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 So, so it's uh, maybe, so it's it's a uh, you know I mean it's one of those things that you know maybe the imprecision was earlier. Sure. I don't think b6 was the. I, I think this was probably a better better try for black but I, I it's still still uh, uh, advantageous for white but okay after b6 uh, I got um, I you know I mean positionally I just stand very well here so uh, okay the check was good to kind of uh, force the king where to go now and now e3 because I shouldn't hurry because Bishop a6 is coming so e3 and now, yeah, bishop a6 is reasonable enough, takes, takes, and rook b1 was also good. Actually, I thought I played very well in this game. I mean, he says somewhat immodestly, but, uh, <laughs> but, but I, you know, I, except right at the end, I, I almost blundered right at the end. And, uh, well, I'm still winning, but it was... Because you know, because you could play rook b4. I know, I know, I know, I know. But actually, <laughs> I played rook takes g7, and then I thought, oh my god, you know. And then no, no, king c6, you're lost. I know, I know. It's uh, but uh, I just had uh, like two seconds of thinking, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> no, it's 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 winning. But um, yeah, okay. So rook b1, and the basic problem, um, if any lest anyone doesn't understand is this uh, it's the pawn structure on the um, on the queen side and also the the d pawn is uh, is vulnerable it's it's a target so you know white just has a very nice game um okay rook a8 this rook has to be rerouted um what did i do i took did i yeah yeah, yeah. rook c8 and now some F F three, and you know black has a, a lot of um, possibilities, um, but um, it doesn't alter the fundamental the, the structure. The pawn. Sorry, knight. Was it worth like playing knight e four? I don't think there was a good uh, chance. I played f3 to... Uh, maybe around to, here, Stuart, so maybe knight to e4, just trying to get rid of one knight. Yeah, okay, uh, okay here, so yeah, okay, exactly. I want to play f3 now. Okay. Does an exchange of knights help black, or is it Well, uh, uh, tr yeah. try and defend your d-pawn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so, so the point is... You know, that's... This is, this is 
Because Rook B5 is just very strong. Yeah, and, this uh, is it's a very yeah, nasty. Sure. It's a very nasty position because uh, B6 is hanging, and uh, yeah. Okay. So it's still very unpleasant. Yeah. You you know I mean, if you could exchange off knights and exchange off rooks and get a king to c6 or something you know then it's a different story but uh, it, it's all it's you know it's too many things you know yeah. i mean white has some moves as well in this uh, in this position so okay. so, 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 so yeah uh yeah rook e8 uh king e2 and it's important actually b5 doesn't really work here um, it could have been could have been played on the previous move, but it doesn't work for a different reason. Because okay. I play a takes b5, and after a4, uh, okay. I play. Uh, because I should explain the point. If rook takes b5, rook c3 is uh, annoying, very annoying, and then yeah. the the e pawn is hanging. Uh, so a takes b5, a4, rook d3. And you know, white, uh, black has had two moves of activity, um, and that's it. That's basically the end of the excitement. There's no mileage in rook c2 and rook no. c6. It's going to be far too slow, I guess. It's it's too slow. Yeah. I can play rook c1. Rook c5. You know, it's okay, two, just, yeah, just rook rook c3. Rook c3. Uh, rook I'm not. I'm not in. A, I'm not in. A, yeah, rook c3 and king d3. I mean, it's yeah. just just. Sorry. just just completely lost this position. Okay. No, I mean these things they have to be calculated because just you know if suddenly black black can break out, it's um, it's a real problem. So okay, now I just played in a simple way. Yeah, and it's possible here maybe uh, maybe knight h5 is a better try. And the point, sorry, we're well, just to play f5. The point is after king d3, um, which may not be the best. I can play g4 as well, but that's uh, yeah. But the idea is black plays f5. Position is still good for white. White is definitely on top here, but you know the the knight will go back to f6, and it makes this e4 breakthrough. Um, much harder to attain. I can play knight b1 anyway, um, knight f6 for example, knight c3, um, and uh, and one plan is just to play bishop a3, knight b5, and with the knight coming into d6 very often, uh, rook c3, and the knight is coming into d6. It, it's very unpleasant. I mean, it's a totally passive position for black. I mean, black is just waiting for something to happen. Nigel, sorry, a question from before without getting back. Was yep. A5 and Bishop A6 the best chance for black? I, 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 I suspect Knight B6 is a better try. Um, I, I believe white, white is better um, in, in that position. I, I, I think Knight B6 and uh, Bishop D7 is a more natural way to, to play. Um, I hadn't really focused on b6 because I mean just optically yes. optically it looks wrong it you know I mean it's um, uh, white has all the positional trumps um, it's like an it's like a nimzo Indian actually the position is you know it's like a nimzo Indian that's gone wrong for for black right so six is played yeah Okay, king d3. Uh, yeah, this is a reasonable try. Um, yeah, yeah, I, but, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a B1 B2 yeah B2. it's it's also it's also good, but um, I think e4 is more incisive because okay. I didn't want this. Uh, yeah, if I go knight b1 immediately, yeah. uh, f5, okay, and, and then knight c7. In fact, the knight is much better on c7. Than it is on f6 uh, because it, it covers this b5 square and um, what, yeah bishop d2 yeah um, that that's that's absolutely correct that um, uh, 
white has a, a, a definite advantage. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, after bishop d2, rook g6, maybe. And, you know, you just disturb. Attacking the g-pawn. If g3, then this plan is no longer feasible. Or bishop e1, bishop g3. So, you know, black, black is putting up uh, resistance here. That's why I think e4 was, uh, was necessary. Um, I mean, it's, it's the most incisive. So, sorry, uh, g4, um, h4, yeah, well, h5. You know, I, I just don't like exchanging off stuff. Really, I mean, I, I really want to play e4 anyway, you know, and uh, get a mobile mobile center. But uh, this, you know, h5, I, I can I can do all these things, you know. I, you know, g, e4 was was very good. So I mean, my, there's no point in looking for improvements, really. Um, you know, bishop a3, and b5 is not really not really working here uh, i think i can just take it and uh, yeah the point is uh if rook b6 i can just take on d5 i think and it's a bad position you know what can i say you know white is a pawn up here and uh well you'll have to take on b5 but uh Maybe rook takes b5, um, and I, I take that, and probably bishop c5 or something. It's ju it's just bad, you know. It if you could somehow get a blockade on d5, then uh, it's it's a different story. But I don't see any blockade. So, uh, you, okay, here, yeah, now knight b1 is a, is a, is a yeah, not, not a very difficult move, but uh, it's, uh, it's a great move, you know, because just um, the knight comes to the ideal square and it covers b5, it attacks, pressurizes, pressurizes, d, yeah, d5, yeah. It, it does everything. So, I mean, this position is just snapping. The black position is snapping completely at this point. So, takes is, 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 is as good as anything. I didn't really see any good moves at all for black. Rook f6, uh, rook b2. I, actually, I had a bit... Yeah, after rook uh, f6, I was... For some time, I was thinking just to play uh, knight c3, um, and, but uh, it's also very good for white. But um, I realized that actually the, the position is, is better, because after rook f2, I, I play um, rook b2, and I exchange off the rooks. Uh, it's a nasty end game. For black, it's a very nasty end game. However, uh, I thought I had a bigger advantage with the rooks on because the rook was, uh, you know, black's rook actually, um, although it looks active, doesn't have any targets. Whereas my rook on the B file is uh, pressurizing B6. So um, it. I think I played it better. I think rook b2 was was correct. And it's just one of those games, you know, there are no good moves in 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 a position like this because the the structure, black structure is is all wrong. So okay, rook f1 here and uh knight Did you have any other suggestions? No. No, I mean, I just, I've got basically nothing to suggest at all for black. It's 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 a lousy, it's a lousy position, and and uh, so ninety six and 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 okay, bishop d six, and 
after f6, uh, which is fair enough, uh, my only concern is now how to um, break through. Um, and um, yeah, f6 was not so bad because actually quite often I have ideas of uh, even just playing e5 sometimes. It, you know, so probably it's going to uh, have to come sooner or later. Um, but as it went in the game, it opened up a, a route uh, into, into the position. So uh, rook c2 was, was um, good um, because, uh, yeah, I'm just defending that knight and uh, preparing to, to enter with the, the king. And uh, there's just nothing to be done. You know, f5 will be met by e5, and they will start to, they will start to roll. So um, there's no way of, of putting any pressure on uh, on the white position. So okay, let's let's move on here. Bishop g3. Um, yeah. No, and and now the king comes comes in, and I don't know. Uh, in a sense, knight c7 makes it easier, but I have nothing to suggest. I, I think it's just a completely lost position. Maybe it's slightly more confusing if you keep the knights on, but I, I have nothing. King e7 or something, I don't know. But uh, it's awful. You know, I mean, uh, we, we, we're clutching at straws here. It's it's a terrible position. But, okay, let's let's... See the, the, the end. We can finish it off quite quickly. Um, King d5. And now it's just uh, it's all over. Knight f8. Otherwise, King e6 is coming. Check and rook c7. And uh, after rook takes a a4, maybe I can do it a little bit better. Well, I took on g7. I as I say, actually I missed something because rook b4 here. <laughs> and. <laughs> If I play knight a uh, knight a seven, rook, ta rook takes. Uh, well, that was a crafty trade. Well, yeah. So yeah. I was just uh, I was a bit I was a bit dozy, but king c six is winning. Uh, yeah, so so uh, the point is, the point is yeah. This is a uh, this is rather rather embarrassing. Yeah, that would be very yeah. embarrassing. So, you know, having so played cool so game. well so yeah. <laughs> so far, this yeah. would be extremely. But king c six is is winning. Uh, just uh, was, was this the game after? No, and she played. Uh, she played uh, rook a two instead. Uh, so, yeah, king c six is is winning. Knight e six. I have rook d seven check. So it's uh, it's completely lost. Yeah. So, okay, um, it would have been a better try to play rook b four. Yeah, but she was also short of time at this point. It was only seconds left. So uh, yeah, okay, rook a two, king uh, rook a two, king d six. After king d6, yeah, I mean, I, I I have about ten different ways of winning at this point. <laughs> well, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just you're going to point out all ten. <laughs> That's a rookie too. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. and uh, yeah, rook rook a7, rook b7, rook f7. You know, uh, That's free. yeah. There are lots, lots, lots of things. So yeah, and then the last couple of moves. Rook b7. Yeah. King c8. Rook takes b6. And now with king, if king d7, uh, knight d7. Excuse me. Uh, knight a7. Check. King d8. Rook b7. Which is unpleasant. Yes. Stop. Yeah. Stop. yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so, um, I think I played well, actually. You know, honestly, it happens. You know. I <laughs> <laughs> so you're happy the way the tournament's going so far? I mean, yeah. Be unhappy, yeah. I guess. No, I'm, I'm, uh, That's it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, yeah, it's a rather unfortunate opening choice, I guess. Uh, well, it's not. A, it, I mean, uh, uh, Tatiana's very experienced on on this, but I, I 
produced something that was a little bit unusual. And uh, she didn't quite feel exactly the right plan. You know, I think Black is, is doing okay in this line, but you know, you make just one or two little imprecisions and you're, you're in trouble. You're really in trouble. Maybe, so, maybe you have to be free of it. Well, it, it, I, you know, I mean, white is on top. White is on top there yeah. uh, after this. So, uh, you know, probably h6, which is, is, you know, quite a typical move. I mean, it's actually, it's a, it's, a, it's a logical move, actually, because you say, you know, where are you going with this? Because do I go to h4, then g5 is always uh, possible, and then knight e4. Uh, do I go to f4? It's not clear where the the bishop is good on f4. But then bishop c1 and this b3, uh, I think he's giving white the advantage. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. In the next game, someone will, will try and equalise there, produce something. Yeah. But you won't be seeing me playing it again. <laughs> You've got to stay one step ahead. <laughs> Always one step ahead. <laughs> man of many tricks now Nigel oh yeah saying. that's it yeah an old fox old yeah. fox yeah <laughs> so plenty of ideas yeah so yeah a good game Leslie and um, thank you for both coming in yeah, so, yeah. Really very nice sport nice very sporting so. of Tatiana yeah. to come thank yeah so, and to both more than welcome in the future to come in so yeah. hopefully you'll get a great win